Hello from Bryson City for another art lesson. Today we're going to be doing still life. So, of objects that you then use your eye and draw or paint or however you'd like to have to create a sculpture. Entirely up to you. Today I'm going to be demonstrating drawing and I have some colored pencils to also add to the drawing, um, put a little color into it. Um, if we have any questions as you go, just feel free to post them. I'll respond as quickly as I can. But uh, camera turned around and see what we got going on. All right, so paper, pencils. I also have colored pencils. Dun dun dun. Lots of colored pencils. Hopefully today the feed won't be cutting out like it was yesterday. So here's our still life I've set up. I've got a pitcher in the back, an apple, a plum, a grapefruit, in this tray with some glasses. I think I'm going to put the glasses on a little bit of an angle. There we go. So to get started, I'm going to paper. I'm going to just grab a pencil and I'm just going to observe. So we'll start with some big shapes tray that they're all sitting in and this picture and also I wanted to mention too uh, we do want to kind of include the edge of the table here because that will help with our composition so first things first I'm going to draw start with the big grapefruit I'm going to put it um, a little bit off center so right here that looks good next will be the apple and then lastly the plum. Next thing I want to do is draw the tray that they're kind of sitting in. That way you can see it. I went a little a little low. There's our tray. Now I'm sketching it out first, but I'm going to use the same pencils and a little bit of the colored pencils later on to um, to render that out a little bit better, so you can see as we go. Um, the glasses, which will be right here. That's where our glasses will live. Now you can also see about back here off of this plum is where the edge of the table occurs. One of the things that we have uh, a natural ability or innate ability as, as humans and observers is we like to tilt things up more than they really are in real life. So as I'm looking at it through the camera here and also looking at it here, I would, you know, Part of me wants to make a line really sharp here, but then you'd have to be up higher to get that view, so it's kind of unrealistic. So you want to be conscientious of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so edge of the tray is back here, and the pitcher comes up and comes out top of the picture handle ties back in make the apple Fill that in just a little bit more. So on this apple, as it goes around this way, we've got the little spot back here where the stem would be, but there's no stem. So I'm just going to kind of put a few marks to help with our shape of our apple. Here's our orange and this little button is up here on the top or grapefruit I should say orange <laughs> now 
And also, too, one of the things if you noticed, I've put a light over here. So let me, for a full effect, let me turn off the overhead light here and you can see what that does. So now, of course, it's a little harder to see my drawing, but now we have all this shadow here. And then this is going to be shadow inside there. Here's our plum back here in the back. It's got a little, little, little bit of light. You can see the um, pit here where the uh, stem would be in. And we're just going to try and make some shadow and shade to make it look spherical. Same thing here on the apple. this picture and notice too right here you got the shadow and this is light light onto the grapefruit but the shadow area here so I'm going to fill that in also with shadow if I turn that overhead light back on, we'll kind of lose a little bit of this. But I also want to make sure this dish has kind of a trough and some shape to it and some folds where it's um, hand built. If anybody was wondering, yes, this is one of my pottery pieces. They're not as, they're a little bit rougher. <laughs> I like to tell people they're a little bit rougher, a little bit more primitive. I like the uh, organic feel of things. Now, a lot of the stuff, when you're drawing a still life and you're looking at it, you need to make sure because what will happen inevitably is you will stop and then just start drawing what you think is there. So my only cautious con caution against that is if you're going to do that, make sure it looks really good. There's like a button on the side of our our picture. So now on the upper part of the of the vase, of the picture I should say, the light comes, makes it look like it has depth. And also, this is what's nice, doing it with the light source here coming across. You can see it makes a little bit of a shadow back here. So we want to make sure we include that. The shadow area on our table. Just be very light. Light marks. Kind of fill that in. A bit over here. But setting up a still life is great practice on working on training your 
um, hand to report what your eyes are seeing. And a still life can be made up of it can be made up of any um, objects that you have around your house. So it doesn't require anything special. If you're going for that very much that um, more of a um, traditional setup, you'd have the fruit, you have some implements. Um, one of my favorite artists to look at uh, for still life is uh, William Merritt Chase. If you have any books or want to get on Google and look up some of his paintings, uh, William Merritt Chase taught a lot of the American painters that we you know, that came after him. He taught a lot of them. He was their mentor. He was their instructor, and um, a lot of his techniques show up in subsequent um, paintings and drawings and art. Um, so yeah, 20th century because of his instruction. So definitely look up William Merritt Chase. Uh, another person that I enjoy looking at their still life, of course, is uh, Cezanne. Cezanne uh, did a series of paintings with uh, oranges and fruit and you know as you I'm sure some of you probably know Cezanne um, they're just they're wonderful to look at Alright, so I've added some more shadow, filled in the picture a little bit more. Again, this is kind of rough, kind of loose. I'm going to swap out pins here, go with something with a little bit more edge to it. So I've pre-sharpened all my pencils today. Grapefruit smelling pretty good. Must be very ripe. That's the other part that's great about a still life. When you get finished, guess what? Snack time. Cross hatching here in the back, kind of get our shadow a little bit more depth and darkness and volume. A little, a little bit right here, too. All right, so at this point, I think it may be time to start adding a little bit of color. Actually, let me, let me darken this. This uh, grapefruit up a little bit more. Same thing with the apple, bottom of the plum. So, one of the things you can do when you're doing a still life like this is just add some hints of color. So, we'll start off with the apple here. I think I'm going to have the color sort of concentrated here in the center where these three pieces of fruit. So a little bit of red. Work 
on this plum, so. Don't be afraid to blend colors. So I went up a violet. Now I'm going over with um, more of a uh, like a raw umber, brown and purple. Well, yeah. Grapefruit. We'll start off. Um, we'll start off with an orange, of course. It is kind of got that little bit of an orange blush to it, and a darker orange blush back here in the back. It kind of plays off the red and the. Uh, let me zoom up here and show you. This part plays off the. Uh, Apple and the plum. I'm going to turn the overhead light back on since we're not doing shadow right now. That way you can kind of see what I'm see what I'm talking about. So see this is a little darker in red and it plays off of these. Very nice. So we're going to come through with the orange first. Put the yellow all over it like that. Now a red orange kind of gives it this blush that we're seeing. There's a little spot right here around the top, and there's an even bigger spot down here in the bottom where it goes into the shadow. Then the last, let's hit this with a little bit of this, um, like an indigo, help enhance those shadows just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing on the plum. This indigo will actually probably help to fill out the plum very nicely. Also going to repeat some of this orange and yellow and a little green on our apple. So the orange there. Pick up a little bit of this um, green. If you notice, this is what I'm looking at. Right here in this area, there's some green, so I'm just going to put a touch of that in here. Just a little bit. Make the suggestion that it's there. There we go. No more. And lastly, because as the green turns into red, you can see some yellow in there, and I think that would be nice to blend that in. And then also the yellow... And the grapefruit, the yellow, and the apple ties them together. Start talking about uh, color harmony. <laughs> Fade. 
thing here. We'll leave. We'll leave undone. We got the picture in the back. We can go back in and darken that up if we like. We grab the pencil and we'll do just that. This picture is very dark, so we're going to come in and we're going to darken it up. back here on the handle to darken it up as well now there are some highlights on the top and I'm going to add those in here let's put the pencil down let's get out uh, we'll try the pink pearl eraser here so if you notice there's some right there on this picture so we're going to come through The other thing, if you take the eraser softly, kind of move it, it'll blend it together, make it a little bit more uniform in the front. So, and then now let's go back and add that, add that highlight there, there, and a little bit on the handle. Okay, and then build the rest of it back up around that. Same thing on the handle. There we go. Just like that. So there's our still life for today. Hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Set up your own still life. Pick objects from your house. Whatever you have available. Doesn't have to be anything special. All of this is readily available at your house. You get it from the grocery store where you can have them, you know, if you need fruit, fresh fruit, you can have them drop that off from the grocery store. So I'd like to see what you've done. So absolutely, if you do something, post it in the comments. would love to see it, love to share it. Uh, if you have any questions, also post those. Uh, we will see you tomorrow uh, for another art lesson. Have a great day. Stay safe.